Good morning. Uh, today we're going on another hike here at uh, Punta Guanaquilla, which is a nature reserve. This is called the uh, El Tren uh, Trail. So uh, there used to be an old train here. Don't know what it did. Probably moved some sugar cane around. There she is. Hello, it's Punta Guanaquilla. Thanks. Exactly. Did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might have said that. I may. Who knows? My Spanish is terrible. But uh, here it is. A little sign and the gate to prevent uh, motor vehicles in here and just a little walkway for us. And um, so off we go. Okay, and this is our first turn. Ooh, I see, I see a big ass cactus down there. So far, this has just been a nice wide trail. Uh, not too much shade, but uh, it's well maintained. You can tell they come in here and, and uh, cut this grass to keep it down to a reasonable level. Great. Yeah, well, we've uh, made it uh, most of the way around the, uh, the loops here. Now we're going to go off trail a little bit. And uh, there's supposedly a, uh, an old abandoned tunnel to an L down this way somewhere. Eight tenths of a mile down. Eight tenths of a mile down. Um, first about people having to bushwhack and all that other stuff we have to bushwhack. We're not gonna, gonna go that way, but. It's called the Tunnel de Gua... Guanaquilla. Guanaquilla. So we'll go and see what we can find. Tra too. Trails changed a little bit. Single path here. Uh, check out this tree with all the spikes growing out of the side of it. That is really, really interesting. And we will find it. Someone left us a little sign. Follow the tunnel in this direction. Look at these things hanging down right here from this tree. Oh yeah, look at those things. They're quite interesting it's and the same unusual. Kind of tree with the little ferns. Oh, some more interesting plants here. Seeing on our hike. These are new as well, actually. Yeah. Whatever they are. I think we made it. I think I see the uh -huh. the tunnel here. Here it is. Wow. It's uh bigger than I expected. expected something much smaller than this. I expected to be actually disappointed. And uh, Lisa actually wrote, read some stuff from people that they were disappointed in coming here. But I think for this being out in the middle of nowhere, I'm pretty impressed. Let's walk through. Got some uh, paper type stone here on the this is, this is the base. Here's a little door. Maybe Lisa can shine flashlight on there. Get your flashlight in there, man. I didn't bring it. Oh, yeah, you didn't. You forget your phone? I got my phone, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got mine. Yeah, usually I have my flashlight with me, but today I forgot it. Oh, doesn't go anywhere. Just a little indentation there. Can you keep it on so I can get a picture? Thanks. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. I guess so if a train comes, you can quick run in there. Yeah, of course. I assume trains used to go through here. I can only assume that. I mean, this is... <laughs> what about it? <laughs> This is, yeah, exactly, why was it here in the middle of nowhere? I mean, this is so much bigger than I expected. And now we're out on the other side. And we'll have to decide what we're going to do. Turn around or continue? And thanks to Lisa's sharp eye, she has seen that uh, there's a little hit with the keystone there. They put the year 1908, which is obviously the year they built this. We we got here from our hike in uh, Guanaquilla, and it just looked like there was a little trail beyond uh, the park on my All Trails app, and it 
looked like that was an okay. interesting tunnel up there. So here we are. Yes, I've seen some other, I've seen some other YouTubers and uh, you know other write-ups of this saying it's uh, difficult to get to, difficult to find. People, um, you know, have to go through like private property, hop over fences, and um, bushwhack to get here. I and mean, maybe we came from the opposite direction, which we probably did because we did hike. I don't know, it's uh, probably in the two and a half mile range here to get here, but we added some onto that. But we're certainly on, a, certainly on a nice trail, and even in the other direction, I don't know where that goes, but that trail is darn nice too. It so, is, I think we have to keep going. Okay, so I guess we're going to continue on here. How about you? You okay with that? Sure. Popping out on somebody behind someone's house now. This is maybe what the YouTubers are talking about. Going on to someone's private property, the horse. <laughs> and uh, but there's a trail here. It continues on. <laughs> hey bud. How's it going? past the houses. Didn't turn out to be a boring hike after all. No, it didn't. And here we're coming to the road. So, uh, pass straight to it. Not uh, exactly that difficult to get to. And there's even a sign here. And and uh, some of it's for sale. I don't know what exactly. Maybe uh, the whole property with the, the tunnel. Looks like it could be for sale. That's really interesting. Yeah. side so so from the other side of the road see the entrance see the trail and uh, some building here well, some telecom building who knows what that is but uh, not that hard to get to uh oh look out thank you look what they uh, carved us into here are these rocks to figure out what they were what they were hauling out of here I don't know is this for the for the salt or something else well, here we are going by the fence people talk about back in people's yards there's their houses up there but path is pretty well defined we're not beating any bushes bush here Here's the approach to the tunnel from the other direction. And that's about eight minutes from the road, seven minutes from the road. That's uh, not that bad. Less than half a mile. On further review, looks like this is just dried mud that has uh, sort of uh, shriveled or, or shrunk into this configuration. It's, it's interesting. And then we have a cactus here. It's about ready to bloom. A couple places on it. So it took us about 30 minutes to get back to our car. So uh, from one direction, it's seven or eight minutes to the tunnel, and uh, from the other direction, it's about uh, about 30. Well, I thought that was gonna be a boring hike. So did I. Just a utilitarian hike. I thought I thought some of it would actually, uh, we'd get close to the ocean for. Which we didn't at all. Yeah, because of all the overgrown 
overgrown brush there, but uh, but discovering know, the tunnel. Yeah, the tunnel, and and you know, we saw uh, several trees that were ex it, it was super interesting. You know, the one with the spikes on it. You know, the uh, the ones with the little pods. Yep. And we saw those trees, and some of them were, those pods were green, and some of them were bright red, and some of them were brown. So it's uh, not not seasonal for them. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, but the other cool thing was the rocks. The massive, giant rocks on both sides of us for a lot of <laughs> We just had a, an iguana run across the road in front of us. <laughs> we keep seeing iguanas and we can't, uh, he was, he was they're all, so fast we can't get them on film. Yeah, he was only two and a half feet long. Yes, we've seen bigger. But yeah, these massive rocks on both sides, 50 feet high. Yeah. Some of the terrain was really spectacular. Yeah, so. We have to do a little research on understanding why this train was here back in the early 1900s when it stopped being here. But uh, hopefully, we'll put that in the comment section below. Or if you know, help us out. Put it in the comment section. And if you want to hike here, we'll make sure that there's information so you can find the trailhead and um, give you the, um, the map of our hike so you can take it yourself. And yep. until the next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of our next exciting adventure. So, adios!